Good morning and welcome to He Sees Us All YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys something that took me forever to find. Uh, I know I already posted a video today, but I had to get this one out there as well. Um, so two years ago, I had an experience. Uh, I would call it a spiritual experience. I saw what most would label as UFOs in the sky. And I recorded what I saw. I was seeing them all day. They were coming in and out of the sun. I have a couple other videos, but this is the one that I was specifically looking for because there was some, I heard some Hopi tale about um, in the last age at the very end uh, that something about spider webs in the sky or whatever. And that is exactly what I saw one day. And I, I spent a good couple hours looking for this video last night and then I finally found it. So I want to play it for you guys. Um, Again, I saw this with my own two eyes. Um, it's not just something that was, you know, in the lens or in my phone or whatever. It wasn't actual spider webs either because I saw it with my own two eyes. Like I said, this was in the sky. I, I It felt to me like the sky was glitching out. Um, that's why I believe we're in some kind of matrix. And again, this doesn't disprove God to me. I just wanted to show you guys why I believe this. Um, I believe we're in God's matrix. I think that that's why if you take the mark of the beast or you assemble yourself with AI in any way, you get stuck in this computer. We're not meant to be stuck here. We were sent here to learn and to grow and to evolve into um, better beings ourselves spiritually. And if you you think that you're going to live forever inside this computer, you're going to get locked in it. And at some point, the reset button's going to be hit and there will be a new world. And spiritually, we're supposed to be able to move on with that. Um, these, again, are my beliefs. I know they're controversial to a lot of uh, Christians out there, but I'm going to play to you why I feel this way. Um, in the original video, I swore at one point I forgive me, I'm sorry, you know, I've been working on that lately, I try not to swear, um, but here you go, guys, this is the video. So right there, you first start to see this spiderweb thing in the sky. Here it is. I saw this with my own two eyes, web. too. In the sky, I just caught them. There was nothing attached yep. to the roof or anything like that. If you watch it, it even goes behind the roof. What? See? Fuck. This was in the sky. That's in the sky. That is not a spider web on my porch. Oh. And then there's this light, like a ship so or something. Clear, I don't know what it is. These things know. were flying in and out of the sun this day. And where are you going? No. And now watch off to the right after that disappears. Look over to the right and the sky glitches out again. There's like another spider web. See it? Yeah, in the sky like, it looked like right to the right in between the trees be playing with CERN so much. I could see this with my own two eyes so could my friend it literally looked like the sky itself was glitching out um, I am a follower of God and I am a follower of Christ and I don't believe that living in some type of computer matrix disproves God in any way um, I believe that we are a part of God's matrix, and I believe that's why if we take the mark of the beast or we assemble ourselves with AI in any kind of way, that that's why we're not allowed or we can't move on. We get stuck in this computer. We're spiritual beings, and we're only meant to be here to learn and to grow and to become something more as spiritual beings. If you take any kind of AI technology or you turn yourself into a computer you will be stuck in this computer I just wanted to share this video with you guys it took me forever to come across it I'm glad I finally found it um yeah I hope you guys thought it was as interesting as I did that day and I hope you all have a wonderful day God bless every one of you